Hello guys, good morning or good afternoon, depends on where you are. Um, my name is Lewis um, and I'm going to give you guys an introduction slash update on the project that I'm doing. I'm talking about the Airfix 172nd um, Lancaster. This is the Mark III, the Special Dam Busters Edition. Okay. Um, this came out last year in 2013 which was the 70th anniversary of the Dam Busters. Uh, it was an operation called Chastis and last year it was their uh, 70th anniversary so it came out at the same time. It was a highly anticipated kit and till this day uh, is probably the best uh, kit in 172nd. I also have the Revell Germany and I looked at it and it looked great but for them to say this is the best um, um, that's why I chose this this uh, manufacturer, you may say. And so far, it's so good. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's a very very nice kit. So anyway, um, I wanted to add some stuff to it. Uh, not too much, cause the, like I said, the the kit actually is very very good. So excuse me, one second. I have coughed. Salud. Uh, I only slept like four and a half hours, so I'm very, <laughs> very, very tired. But this is the only chance I get to do a video. Right. I already used the uh, <coughs> Edward Zoom set uh, just to liven it up, you know, the cockpit. Um, very, very nice. They're not that expensive, you know. Um, I also used the Zoom Z for the A10 and and you know but Edward actually jumped all over this kit so they actually sell the Big Ed okay that's a $70 set I think it comes with interior detail set in uh, exterior detail Bombay it comes with masks um, I mean everything you know everything so um, if that's the route you want to go, hey, go for it. I bet it's going to look fantastic. But one of the things that uh, I got was the brassing um, wheels. Okay, the ones in the in the set are very, very plain. So I thought I spent some money and, and it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $7 or something like that. Um, and also I recommend if you're doing any type of multi panel or what we call the greenhouse type uh, canopy lifesavers man masks okay I know Gary will agree with me this will save time keep you sane keep you from swearing a lot <laughs> so get yourself some mask if you're doing um, hopefully Edward has some you know but I highly recommend that as a uh, reference I'm using this magazine I love 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 books don't get me wrong books are very very important if they educate you their knowledge goes through the roof um, but the problem is not the problem but the thing is the book talks about the aircraft okay um, you may talk about the the actual uh, aircraft used and the mission and all that stuff but magazines, modeling magazines, it comes from a model making perspective. So it talks about the, in this occasion, it talks about the actual uh, kit that I'm doing. And a guy named Carl Robinson um, did the search research for me. <laughs> okay. And as you guys could see, I highlighted some parts that I thought it would be helpful during my building. And, you know, he shows you the stuff that he did. By the time he built it, he didn't have a, um, you know, a, a mask set. So he had to actually do it. And, and poor guy, he had to do it, you know. Um, tells you the ways that he painted it. You know, using the worm technique, I call it. Uh, which is the same technique I'm going to be using. And it's just very helpful because he just talks about issues with the kit. He talks about the good things, the bad things, 
different techniques that you could use. So I highly recommend you get modeling magazines. It's they're great. They're great for for references. I actually, what I do is I go on on the net. I, for example, I go to scaleaircraftmodeling.com. I type in on their search. I type in the name of the kit or the name of the aircraft, and it'll show me if there's any articles on it. And then I look for that issue, and if it's on sale, uh, you know, I'll buy it. Uh, so I actually have bought um, different magazines for different kits that I have. You know, so when, when I build them, I could go and use that as a reference. Another great, great tool of reference is the good old internet, okay? And in this case, Wikipedia. Wikipedia tells me everything I need to know about the aircraft used, as you guys could see here. This is all the aircraft that was used during that mission. It was 19 aircraft, 19 bombers, Lancaster bombers. Uh, eight of them got shot down, 50 aircrew got killed, uh, three, of, three of them got taken prisoners. Um, it just tells you the background, the concept, the attacks, the, the, you know, the aircraft involved, the damage after the raid, the effect on the war, all that stuff. Um, you can find it on the internet, pictures, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I highly, highly recommend. So, I've started with the kit already. And the pictures, you can see them at ISM um, on the 100 Years of Bombers. Or, or Flory Models, if you're a member, you could see that, um, my progress under the uh, silver screening. Okay, and <clears throat> with the photo edge, it does add a lot. Let me zoom in. It does add a lot of uh, detail. You know, you could see the boxes there with the instrument panels. Um, see the other side? Uh, since this was in real life, it was um, a, a new kit. I mean, a new kit, a new aircraft. Okay, it was only 13 days old when this was carried out, so the weathering wasn't that bad. So I might just do uh, dry brushing on the cockpit, and that's it. You know, uh, maybe some washes and stuff just to give it more detail. But that's why you know references are so important. Don't become a river counter, okay? Don't make it so that you sacrifice accuracy for fun. Uh, I think Gab said that. Um, you know, but accuracy, it is important, you know, because we're we're building part of history here. We, this is what's part of the history, so uh, we want to stay as accurate as we can. Um, here's the, the actual cockpit, the instrument panels. Like I said, there's... Uh, you know, there's pictures on on the forums. You can see there the instrument panel. You can see the the radio operator's uh, desk with the maps. Those are decals. See the seat, okay. Um, and just you know, this is like the floor, the middle section. Um, very very nice kit so far. No no issues at all. Um, dry fit even if it's the perfect kit always dry fit your parts you know make sure to take a look ahead on the instructions you know um, and, and and yeah just just have fun with it guys but uh, this is part of two group builds like I said um, and let's just have some fun so I hope you guys enjoy the, the video, i sorry I talk too much. I bore myself to death when I hear myself talking. But uh, this I just wanted to introduce you guys to the kid and, and tell you what I'm doing, show you what I've done. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys join me for my next video. So my name is Lewis, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.